Hello everybody, I'm George from Beaumont Guitars. And I'm Brandon Hawks. And today we're gonna to be checking out the Joe Satriani JS24 PCA. Uh, pretty sick guitar, candy apple red, uh, two DiMarzio pickups. What do we have here? Basswood body, um, three piece maple babinga neck. We have panga panga fretboard. No, that's not an endangered animal. This is the name of the fretboard wood. I thought it was Pow Pow. Pow Pow. Is that how you say it? P-A-N-G-A, P-A-N-G-A? -A? No, is that's, that Pow Pow? That, that's how you said it. Oh, Pow Pow. Well, either way, Pow Pow, Panga Panga, either way, you're going to sound pretty darn exotic. Um, this guitar actually has a little bit of special meaning for me. Uh, the JS100, I believe was, yeah, that was the 100, was my first ever real guitar I ever had. Wow. So I had it in black, a little different, same configuration, just it was a rosewood fingerboard, and uh, it didn't have a, sing a stacked uh, pickup in the neck. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is, I mean, that candy apple red, just so striking. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. Right? I think the the Panga Panga uh, board is like way nicer of an upgrade. I mean, it's so striking when you look mm, at it. It is. It, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but when you, yeah, when you really look at it, that wood grain, it's beautiful. Uh, for electronic wise, what do you have? We have a volume, we have a tone. It's a coil tappable, three-way position. We have the mojo in the bridge, and we have the chopper in the neck. Very popular uh, DiMarzio pickup. Mm. A lot of people, a lot of people play those. Um, so let's talk about some more about the guitar. So we have two pickups, uh, adjustable edge vibrato bam tremolo locking nuts uh 1.65 for nut width 25 and a half scale 24 medium frets oh my god that's just amazing um it's a very comfortable guitar and if you look at the guitar from the side angle it has like a weird hollow like hollow foily kind of shape where it's like fat on one side and it gets skinny as you go towards interesting the edge yeah and not only that but it house has that side jack so when you're ripping on your crazy solos and stuff you're not gonna uh get unplugged so brandon tell me like first thoughts i mean is the neck comfortable because it's a c-shaped neck but it's like yeah. a js premium kind of a neck shape yeah no i dig it it's very it's very um thick it feels good in the hand um That's yeah it's, it's, it's i had to do it i knew it was coming i knew it was coming <laughs> i didn't want to do it i thought you know what just let george I'm take that gonna, one i'm gonna take the high road here <laughs> um let let's hear a clip of this man because the marzio pickups past couple reviews i mean they just they sound awesome just the yeah. right amount of gain just the right eq not too bassy not too trebly oh definitely yeah uh let's hear what this thing can do man all right by the way i have sunglasses on in this video because that's how Joe Satriani gets his powers, even though they're not pitch black still. Oh, yeah. It's just the Yngwie version, it's the Yngwie type. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> That is awesome. Uh, definitely, you could pull off those leads on that bridge pickup yeah. too. It's, it's really, really nice. Um, again, keeps the depth and it keeps the character. Sure. Um, let's go over also what we're running through. So we're plugged into a Husen Kettner Tube Meister 36. Brandon's, this is our first video we're doing with it. And it sounds awesome. Uh, we got you. a couple secret things in the back. I don't know, Brandon, if you want to uh, talk about it. Uh, we've, we've used it before. Yeah, we've used some stuff in the back of this thing before, but you know, we're doing a couple of things to the tone to make it sound a little sweeter, a, a little, little, bit. little spicier. A little we're kicking spicier, it up a, a little, little bit. A little more fueled. Ah, that's a good one. <laughs> a little more fuel to that. Um, let's hear a middle uh middle pickup uh sample. So, you know, you'd be yeah, getting sure. a little bit of the humbucker in the bridge and a little bit of the uh, neck position pickup. Cool.
Very nice. Uh, there wasn't as much strat kind of tone as yeah. I was like expecting. I was yeah, definitely little, expecting to hear more. It's cool though. I like it. It's oh, warm. I like it. It's definitely. warmer. Uh, let's hear a little uh, neck pickup uh, sample. Sure. <laughs> That was wrong. It's supposed to be with a pick. That's all I know. Huh? So uh, it's it's more of a humbucker esque tone, which yeah. I think that is stacked pickup. Yeah, it's crazy for for a single coil. I mean, it's it's wild. I like that a lot. Um, let's hear the bridge in coil tap again for everybody that's gonna be like, you didn't play positions, blah 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 blah. <laughs> well, if you want to hear those positions, BeaumontGuitars.com, and you could buy yourself this guitar, and you could play it in all the positions. All the positions. Not Every just position. one. Every one. Even missionary. Oh, we took it there today. Yes, we did. You did it before. I had to do it this time. <laughs> We're equal now. The balance is back. <laughs> Very nice. That was actually really cool too. Yeah. Not not as like single coil as I was expecting. Not at all. I think that, I don't know. That was really heavy. Oh yeah. <laughs> we we brought the heavy on that one. Um, this is a, another awesome a review down. If anybody's interested in purchasing this, please uh, go to BeaumontGuitars.com um, and we will serve your needs. This guitar also comes with a case. Just want to mention that because a lot of guitars do not come with a case. No. This one does. Um, Brandon, what are your thoughts? Uh, it's it's actually really awesome. I wasn't, um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I like Satriani. Uh, I wasn't expecting... I don't know, too much for some reason. Satriani, a.k.a. Lord Voldemort. Yeah, <laughs> Lord Voldemort. You, you were expecting... <laughs> people think that this guitar is only going to be like a shred machine. Uh, it's going to uh. be good for nothing else. But obviously it's got way more features mm. than anyone would expect. Yeah, no, it's sick. It is really awesome. Uh, we're also not going to play it in clean because I don't care. Yeah, yeah you know. I don't really care. Uh, and if you want to hear it in clean again... BeaumontGuitars.com, and you could play it in clean in every position you like, including the Missionary and all the other ones. And uh, yeah, then that'll work out really well because then you'll be able to get an accurate representation of it in your home through your rig. And yeah, Brandon, uh, so how are we wrapping this one up, man? Great guitar. I mean, awesome color. Makes me want to do like a nice 80s kick. <laughs> um, well, I guess we should just burn it now. Yeah, it's sacrifice. I mean, it makes sense, right? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Uh, this is one of the coolest Ibanezes probably that we're going to be reviewing. I agree. This is this is really an awesome guitar. Seriously. It plays really well. Oh, yeah. It sounds good in all positions. Uh, and it comes with the Voldemort wand. No, no, I'm just kidding. Please, nobody <laughs> think that that happens. He acknowledges that, by the he, way. He does kind of look like him. I mean, no, no, no. He actually has heard that people call him Voldemort, and he's like, yeah. And he's not know. pissed about it? No, he's like, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, listen, people call me Fat Scott Ian, and I, I, I deal with it, right? So, you know, you got to have a sense of humor. Oh, um, man. Yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Leave us comments at the bottom if you think I look like somebody that if you think Brandon looks like somebody. If you want to talk about the guitar, the amp, whatever, please leave the comments at the bottom. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, your mom, your dad, all that stuff. Brandon, slay us out with this thing. But hold on, let me add you a little bit more verb when you're going to rip this up. All right.
I'm in verb land right now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>